I've got an idea to use some wax for this little triangular area right here that the uh, feathers are stuck into. Pardon my handheld camera, but I can't think of any other way to show it. Anyway, I'm going to put this piece of masonite underneath the, white, the uh, heat lamp that I softened my clay with, and I'm going to put a small piece of wax under there and let it soften up a bit, and then we'll work on it. Well, this may not look it, but uh, this is that little triangular piece of clay that formed the scalp lock, or the beginning of the scalp lock. So, this is what uh, I'm going to work from for the size. I've taken the feathers out of it, and I've uh, cut it off of the uh, back of the head. I know it doesn't look anything more than just a lump, but... I'm going to indicate the top with an arrow, and let's see, I'm going to get some wire, and I'm going to make an armature for the uh, little piece of triangle so that it could be stuck in and pulled out again so that in one piece. The thing I'm trying to do is make it easy for the uh, boundary to reproduce it. I don't know. I've never done this before, so I'm just uh, basically experimenting. I'm not sure it's even going to work, but you got to try. All right, I'm going to take that part of the triangle Okay, I'm going to bend this at a 90 degree angle. That will go in the back of the skull. The only problem is it's got that ohm uh, skull in there. So I'm not sure that's going to work, but what the heck. Now, before I go putting wax on it, I think I'm going to stick it down into the head and see if it works. Oh, it works. How about that? All right. So the armature works. So I'll let this sit for now. That's the top part. Right there. So I'm going to let that sit until my wax gets warmed up. And then we'll come back and form uh, the uh, top of the scalp block. To make the uh, wax soften a little faster, I'm going to... Uh, slice it. I'm using a Teflon coated kitchen knife that you can buy at any grocery store or most grocery stores. It just makes the wax a little more manageable 
And this is a Victory Brown wax. And uh, you can get, usually buy a block, a 10 pound block of it from your foundry. Uh, if you have a foundry in your area. Because this is what they use for making waxes. that back under the light all right I'm bringing the wax over from under the light and I'm taking out from the under under the light before it gets too soft because if it's too soft you can't work with it now that's the up part and that's the up part so let's go ahead and build a base of wax on the armature, a flat base. The key is to get your wax at the right temperature. If you get it too soft, you can't work with it. It's a happy medium, and you just got to find it. Okay. And the reason I'm using the wax is because the clay is just too soft to hold into position the uh, feathers, when, the weight of the feathers. And uh, I'm just trying to Take care of that problem. Now, that's the upper part. Okay. wax softened up hardened up a bit so I'm gonna stick it back underneath the light again just for a couple minutes I'm gonna mark <coughs> this as up a little arrow Okay, I'm going to need a little heat to uh, work all this out. Clean my tools of any clay because I don't want to get clay mixed up with the uh, wax. like a surgeon getting ready to do surgery here there's my arrow so let's just make sure I'm yep looking good all right Bring the wax in. Now, just like I did before with the uh, clay to represent the hair that uh, is going into making the beginning of the braid.
put some hair texture in it. I know it's hard to see because it is wax. It's hard for me to see because it's wax. That's why I don't sculpt in wax too often. It's because you really can't see what you're doing. I think I'm going to sculpt it just a little bit. Oh, the clay is soft. I mean, the wax is soft. There we go. Okay, it's time to uh, put this hairpiece on the back of the head. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. There we go. I'm pressing it into the clay as hard as I can. There we go. How's it look? Well, I won't know how it looks until I paint it. But I'm not going to paint it until I can place the feathers, and I'm not going to put the feathers in until I can get the feathers ready to go. I know this must seem like a long, drawn-out process, very slow very deliberate <coughs> but that's what sculpting is is little steps at a time I mean I remember when I was a kid I'd put together a model airplane or a model car and uh, it was one step at a time and it took forever you had to have each step work out before you go to the next step all right one of the things I need to do is uh, paint these feathers one more time. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. It's going to take a uh, a while for this paint to dry properly. And I can't really do anything else until then. So I'm just going to let this uh, dry overnight. <laughs> Before I go sticking the uh, feathers into the back of the hair. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.